Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on completing the square for quadratics of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Now what it means to complete the square is to put a quadratic like this into this particular form here. And it's in the form where we have x plus or minus something, some number, all squared plus something or minus something at the end. And notice the difference between these two different forms. Here we have an x squared term and an x term. Whereas here, we only have a single x, and we'll see why this is useful uh, in different videos. For example, it allows us to find the minimal maximum point of a quadratic graph. If you later like explore equations of circles, it allows us to work out the centre of the circle. There's all sorts of practical uses which I won't explore in this particular video. Now let me explain the method. Whatever the number is in front of the x, we halve it. So step one, halve the number on front of the x, known as the coefficient of x. And then we put that into this, so x plus and whatever that number is squared. Yep. So if I do that, half of 6 is 3, so we're going to write this as x plus 3, so half that number, and then with the squared there. Now let's consider what x plus 3 squared would give us. So if we expand that, let me just do it over here. X plus 3 times itself, times X plus 3. Well, we do each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. So the X times the X and the X times the 3. X times X is X squared. X times 3 is 3X. Three and then we do the second thing in the first bracket times each of the things in the second. So 3 times X is 3X. Three and 3 times 3 is 9. We get that, which is X squared plus 6X plus 9. But I'm presuming that you already know how to expand out two brackets. If you don't, then do look up that video. So this would give us x squared plus 6x plus 9. But let's just say we only wanted the x squared plus 6x. We don't want that plus 9 there. So we just throw it away. We throw it away by subtracting the 9. So that gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9, as we have over here, minus a 9, just leaving the x squared plus 6x. We throw away that 9. So whatever this number is here, we square it and then throw it away. So let me write that. So we throw away, we subtract. So this squared, and by this I mean that. Now we've still got that plus five here, minding its own business, so the plus five is still there. And then we just simplify. So we've got x plus three squared, and minus nine plus five, that's minus four. So that's the final answer. And if you were to expand this out, we would see that we do get this original quadratic form up here. Let's do it for one more. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 11. As before, we halve the number in front of the x, so we do half of the minus 2. What's half of minus 2? It's minus 1. So we could write x, well when we add minus 1, that's the same as x minus 1 squared. So we've got x minus 1 squared. And then we throw away this number squared. What's minus 1 squared? It's positive one. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So we throw away one. So regardless of whether this is positive or negative, we always subtract after. So that number squared is one. We throw away one. We still got the plus 11 there at the end, minding its own business. So we just tidy up. So x minus one squared minus one plus 11 is plus 10. And that is the final answer.